Okay. So I'm going to be walking very carefully back to my car. And probably get a snack. Um, so I went to Walmart. Um, my mom wanted me to get some packaging tape. Or packing tape, but um, I didn't really go to CBS. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I bought it here, and um, I also got myself some creamer in the morning. Um, so that's all my haul right there. <laughs> but um, so as you can see from all the pictures, uh, once I um. Upload this video for it. Um, now I think like Target and them should do the same thing. Uh, what what they're doing is um, oh. okay. So like I said, I've been to Walmart already, and um, I did take some pictures in there um, of of how low they have a lot of stuff for right now. Um, because of the coronavirus and stuff, and how people are trying to be prepared for it, just in case if they do get quarantined or something like that, um, and the high demands on some stuff, um, what, um, what Walmart's doing, now, this is just for this store, um, I don't know if it's for, like, every single Walmart, uh, but just for this store, they're kind of like temporarily till um, all of this coronavirus like blows over and stuff. Um, where they're going to temporarily uh, open at six and then close at eleven, which I think I think like their normal schedule is like they don't close. They open at six in the morning anyway, but they don't close till like twelve in the morning or one for some of their stores. Definitely for this one. Um, but no, they're going to close at 11 starting tomorrow. Um, just because of the um, low uh, stuff. It's like because of how many employees that they have. It, it's taking them quite some time to restock everything. Um, like as you can see, there's no juices in the cooler section there wasn't um, there's barely any eggs um, I saw somebody stocking up the eggs while I was there um, there's barely any cereal there's no water whatsoever that they have here unless it's in the back um, and they didn't have any time to uh, um, get it um, well they're they're almost out of everything like from meat like, they were, like, so totally out of chicken. They were almost out of beef. Seafood was okay. Some of their baked goods were, like, almost gone. Um, let's see. What else? But as you can see in the pictures, um, they were pretty much almost out of everything. Um, so, yeah. So, hopefully, uh, what they're trying to do is to kind of like slow the capacity of um, how many people are coming so they can actually do have time to actually um, like restock things so because it's kind of getting really really cr crazy out here um but yeah I mean for where I'm living um, in Holcomb City um and because of the coronavirus, um, my mom read on, um, let's see, I forgot where she read it on, if it was Reddit or something, or maybe their official website for the uh, Hamilton City, um, that, um, they're having the library, the re recreation center, the senior place, and some other city type of functions that um own all the uh, like the soccers and stuff all of that's like closed well they're not really closed like well some of them are closed um definitely like the rec center is closed um some of the soccer stuff that they're not going to do um 
now when it comes to the library, what they're going to try to do is um, they're going to try to, um, like, it's, it will be still opened, but don't want to let the public in. Like, we, like in my library, we have, like, a drive through area, so all we have to do is, it's kind of like a big drop-off type thing, but you can also talk to a librarian and pick up stuff through the window. So, um, which that was kind of neat. Um, so basically, I mean, I guess if my mom wanted something, we can, like, go ahead and get something. And I just have to request it to Halsam City Library and then pick it up from the drive through I don't know if that's what, um, Fort Worth's doing from how many libraries they have. So, hmm. Anyway, can't wait for it all to just, just blow over. Oh well. It probably will soon. Anyway, so I just adapted a couple of things too. I know this was supposed to be like a little Walmart type grocery haul type thing. Oh well. Um, but yeah, I did adapt some stuff. Um, I got a basket with me. That has some wipes and some disinfecting wipes and some hand sanitizer that my mom gives me. And then I got some other stuff to make the car a little bit sterile for me. And then seeing because my mom is a senior citizen, um, there's going to be a couple new things um, that I'm going to add to some of my videos that I'm already taking. Um, like, I do, like, DoorDash places, pretty much take pictures of where I visit and stuff. I guess mostly my mom's curious about it. Um, I'm now adding, like, um, where, like, if I took a pit stop somewhere, like, where I went, basically. So, like, today, for instance, my pit stops, I only had two. Um, I went to Fuel City and in, in between dashes along with Walmart for my last few hours, or few minutes, basically. Um, so I'll put those in there, too. And then, um, been in how many things, um, how many places I went, of how many hours I've been gone at the house. Mm. And mostly now, um, what I'm doing is, like, getting ready for the morning. <laughs> So I'll have my night clothes that I'm going to be wearing, and then my day clothes for the following day. And then uh, pretty much wash up and then head to bed. And then with this vest, I'm thinking about like leaving it in the car now, like I do with my bags. Yeah. <sighs> It's just too crazy out here. Oh well. So, um, I hope you guys be okay out there and be safe from all this madness, I guess. And, uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>